What's up guys, so the Android 13 update has been released for the Note 20 Ultra. I'm on the Verizon, um, you know, locked version, so I just got the update. I will do a full uh, recap of the Note 20 Ultra with Android 13 once I get a better uh, feel for the phone as far as performance, battery life, and stuff like that. So give me like a day or two and then uh, I'll do that video. So be sure to subscribe if you are not. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into, I'll just show you guys the features. It's pretty much the same stuff on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Um, so let's go ahead and just start off with the lock screen. So we do have now lock screen customization. So if I go ahead and hold down on the lock screen, you can see I can resize the clock now, which is like, I think one of my favorite things now, because it used to be like this size. But now for people, you know, I just like to see a, a really big clock. And of course, now you can change the fonts, which is really awesome. So I, I like kind of like the thicker font and also the colors if you, you know, desire to. And uh, you can just sort of play around with it. And you can even that option right there. Kind of like that one. Like I said, you can sort of play around with all of that stuff, but I really like the big clock styles. You can also access your wallpapers from here as well too. So it's just very clean. Also your contact information is down here now. So you can go ahead and put that on your phone. So when people, if you lose it or something, you know, you can have something there. And also guys, what one thing that I really like here is that I can go ahead and change my shortcuts. So flashlight, do not disturb is a really good one. Um, you know, also I can just choose pretty much uh, any application here to get into. So let's say the calculator. Uh, let's say if I want to switch out camera for flashlight. And you guys can see. Now those changes are applied there. So now when I unlock my phone, or you don't even have to unlock it, you can see it automatically goes. So I really like that. Also guys, with customization, if you just hold down on the screen and wallpapers and style, you do have more color palette options as well too, so it's a little bit more in depth on your color that you are looking for, which is something that I really like. So uh, just, you know, Samsung just adding a lot more customization uh, this time around here, so everything looks uh, really nice and in unison with the wallpaper that you have on your screen. All right, so one of the next cool things I want to show you here is we're going to go into our phone in contacts, and then you can now add a background, a call background for any contact. So we're just going to click on that. If you guys saw, we're going to click on that little information mark, and then we're going to go ahead and click edit, view more, and you can do this for anybody, right? So let's say when somebody calls, I want a specific picture to pop up. So I just click on call background and you guys can see I have this one set and it'll pop up like this when this person calls and you can go ahead and do that for you know whoever you want you can do an AR emoji as well too for that uh, specific person so again another great customization thing uh, you can do that for each person um, you know that you want so when you get a phone call you can see that it just makes every I think it just makes the phone and just experience just look a lot cooler a lot cleaner stuff like that um, also if we go ahead and head into settings here we do have in battery and device care you will see now a maintenance mode so basically what this is is if you send your phone in for repair uh, to Samsung instead of having to delete everything you just put the device in maintenance mode and you know your information will not be able to be accessed um, so that's just an easy way to be able to not have to delete everything and all that stuff. You can just put it in maintenance mode, send it to Samsung, turn maintenance mode off, boom, your phone is right back to normal. It's extremely useful. Um, you know, if you're like me and you crack screens and you got to send stuff back and stuff like that, um, then this will be a great feature for you. So the next thing is when you come into settings, you'll see a mode and routines. Um, so just to basically sum it up, right? Uh, so choose a mode based on what you're doing or where you are your phone settings will change to match your activity or situation so we're going to click on driving this is just an example i'm going to give you guys so it'll basically change the settings of your phone depending on you know if you're driving or not so this is asking me to connect to the car we're going to just skip that for right now and then now you can see the settings that i can do do not disturb calls 
and messages none allowed app notifications none allowed so basically it's trying to minimize the distractions uh, while you're driving so you can have you know a better safe driving experience and as you guys can see open an app media volume we can go ahead and mess with that stuff how we want our phone speakers Bluetooth audio read notifications out loud we can go ahead and turn that on big speed wake up so you guys can see you can sort of play with this and as you can see do not stir restrict app usage so you guys can see you, that's the general idea here is that depending on what you're doing uh, you can be able to you know sort of automatically change your phone settings um, so I think that's really cool I think it's really useful you can see they have one for sleep exercise relax and you just sort of set those times and you can also add your own little custom uh, mode as well too and change your phone settings depending on what you're doing so let's say if I edit videos right at a certain time then I can do a custom one hey I'm editing videos right now no notifications no you know XYZ um, so yeah definitely you know check that out play with it see if you like it so next is the widget so again not too much different from when you like 4.1 but uh, we do have smart suggestions now so we just go ahead and add that and basically it learns uh, you know everything that you're doing on your phone so it'll recommend you based on if you use YouTube a lot, if you use the calculator a lot. So it's sort of recommending based on what I've opened a lot uh, on the phone here. And remember that you do have stacks that you can do on here now. So you can create a stack on here, swipe through them. So it's all very clean. I think eventually all Android phones are going to end up adopting uh, this. It basically uh, is taken from iOS is what it's looking like. I think all Android phones will eventually uh, adopt the widget stacking thing. It's just an extremely clean and easy way to get to certain widgets and stuff without everything being messy. You can see auto rotate widgets, show you most relevant information. It'll do that automatically for you. So yeah, I really like it. Definitely, you know, check out the widget stacking. Um, also in photos, guys. So I don't know why this took so long, but you can now add watermarks to your photos so I don't know why that wasn't there almost every phone has it but um, yeah so you can go ahead and change the font of the watermark as well you don't have too many but you can change the font now so when I take a picture I now have you know the font here and I can go ahead and like I said I can customize it a little bit all right, guys, one of the next things I want to show you is in settings, and then we're going to go down to battery and device care. I would definitely turn on auto optimization. So this will just restart your phone and make sure it's running smoothly um, when needed. Um, so I would definitely turn this on. It performs optimizations. Uh, after your phone restarts, you need to unlock it before you receive notifications, stuff like that, just letting you know. But basically restart your phone automatically to keep it in the best condition automatically restarts will only happen when you're not using your phone so uh, they won't be an issue it won't like randomly restart while you're using your phone right so you don't have to worry about that um, also another very cool thing that I think you guys should turn on is go to advanced features and then go down to labs so this is a very cool thing I turned on you can turn all of them on honestly but the two ones that I would turn on is swipe up for pop-up view and swipe for split screen so if I do two finger swipe it brings up the split screen you know very easily now so it's something that I really like there and then you can see you could swipe for pop-up so now you know that's there which has always been there really but you know that feature has always been there of course but okay let me just exit out of that um yeah so I would definitely turn uh, those two on here and then you also have your full screen and split view you could turn that on and then you also have multi window for all applications and something I like to turn on as well too so it'll force an application to go uh, into multi window like let's say for instance uh, I don't have it on here oh yeah I do Instagram it'll force Instagram to go into split screen As you can see so you guys see that all right guys so so far so good uh, performance wise it's been really good but like I said give me a couple days to feel out the performance and battery life 
And um, yeah, guys, so this is the last major OS update for the Note 20 Ultra. Unfortunately, uh, it's currently, you know, it's going to be in its security patch stages from now on. What that means is that it will not get Android 14. It will only get security patches for the next uh, about like two to three years, I believe. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.